This part is the most significant for everyone, the model tutorial. I will show you the step-by-step -step instruction of the gorilla and the parrot. As the gorilla is made with several parts, body, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and the head. I will show you those tutorials position by position. As the body comes from massive pieces, I want to split the instruction into the front and the rear. And let me start from the rear part. These are the parts for the rear body. I'm going to start from silver back with this pink plate as his backbone. This red block is for the neck joint. These joint plates are for his shoulders. These four white pieces are for his flanks. I stuck these round shaped red and beige pieces for his button. After placing the bottom pads, I used the half circle plate to lock those pads. Now the rear body finishes. Next is the front body. These are the pads from the front body. At first, I used the 2x4 block as a core, adding two triangle navy plates. On the core, I add different types and shapes of pieces to shape his chest and shoulders.
these two joint plates are for his hip. And I cover most of them with this large navy part representing his belly and chest. Lastly, I build his clutch with these small red and white pads. Then, the front body got completed. After finishing the front and the rear body, I join both to form the whole body. Next is the right arm. Parts of the right arm are as shown. As the construction is a bit different from the one for the left arm, please observe the following video. I start from the upper arm. I need a pair of navy piece combinations. Then I anchor a pair of parts with a square navy plate. After adding a 2x4 gray plate, I add joint pieces at the top and the bottom of the pad. And Please be careful about the direction of the top joint piece. We should not put this piece in the wrong direction. After that, I place the white piece and the two gray pieces to anchor the whole upper arm. The fist is simpler than the upper arm though, it also needs to pay attention to the piece direction. After locking two arrow shaped pieces with a triangle pole piece, I add the joint pad and the 1 by 2 navy piece at the back of it. Then. I add a 1 by 2 navy block and this beige piece as shown. And to hold them steady, I place a 1 by 2 navy plate. Now I have the fist by adding this triangle piece at the sum. After all, the right arm is ready by connecting the upper arm and the fist. The 
left arm is almost the same as the right arm. Pieces for the left arm are as shown. To start from the upper arm, I have a pair of navy piece combinations. I lock the pair with the navy square plate. After attaching a grey rectangle plate, I place joint pieces on the upper and the lower sides of the part. Then again, it needs to be careful about the direction of the top joint piece not to put the part in the wrong direction. I place the white piece and the two gray pieces to hold them firmly. And I have the upper right arm. The left fist also needs another attention to the thumb position. I lock those two arrow shaped pieces with the navy triangle pole piece. Then add the joint pad and the 1 by 2 navy piece at the back of it. Next is an important part. I add a 1 by 2 navy block this side and I place 1 by 1 beige piece on this side. Then, to hold them steady, place one by two plate at the back of it. The fist is ready by adding this triangle piece at the thumb. After all, I have the left arm connecting the upper arm and the fist. The process of leg pads is also similar to the arms. Here are pads for the right leg. I place a right gray joint, a dark gray joint, and one by two navy piece on the red square plate. At this time, it needs to place all pieces in the proper position as shown. Then, I place this trapezoid plate on it. About the trapezoid piece, please use the proper piece by checking the location of the studs. Here you have the upper one. For the foot, I prepare a joint pad and put the white curved piece as shown. Next, I place a nail shaped piece here and again I put the white curved piece on it. At last, to make it firm, I put the white square pad at the bottom of the foot. So, being that, I have the right leg by attaching the upper leg with the foot pad. Here are pads for the left leg. For 
for the upper one, I place a light gray joint, a dark gray joint, and a 1 by 2 navy piece on the red square plate in the correct positions as shown. Then I put the trapezoid plate on it. As before, pay attention to using the correct trapezoid plate by confirming the location of the studs. Here I have the right upper leg. For the foot, prepare the joint pad and put the white curved piece as shown. Then I place a nail shaped piece here and again I put the white curved piece on it. At last, to make the frog, I put the white square pad at the bottom of the foot. So being that, I have the left leg by connecting the upper thigh and the foot. The last and the most complicated pad is the head. As you see, I need those pieces for the head. To start from his nose and eyes, I used the white hinge pad. In this pad, I put two small joint pieces on the pole to make them a nose. For his eyes, to build a base for eyes, I put two arrow-shaped pieces on the studs of the white pad. Then I place two brown eyes on it. Next, to expand the face, I put one by three navy pieces on both sides of the eyes and the nose. So, he can have cheeks with arrow shaped pieces. And then I use carved navy blocks for his lip. After that, I added two gray triangle blocks for his chin. And to make it stable, I put the red round piece behind the chin blocks. Next for both sides, I placed L-shaped red pieces on building his side face. Then I start building his forehead with four arrow shaped pieces plus a navy square piece. On the L-shaped pieces, I add these navy pieces portraying his ears. and I am going to build his side cheeks using two black hinge pieces. After that, to make the structure robust, I put two of 2x3 red plate just behind the black hinge pads, and on top of it, 
I also put a 2x4 red plate in the center. After having those done, I add two thin triangle plates to the black hinges for his side cheeks. For smoothness next to the chin, I add small navy triangle plates at both sides of the jaw. Then, for neck joint steadiness, I add two of 1x2 hinge pieces on both sides of the neck joint. Then, I place the neck joint. So, that's all for the head. Now, I get all the body parts from the gorilla prepared. Body, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and head. Let's assemble them. I'm sure you'll like it very, very much. Here are the pets of the parrot. The parrot starts from her head. On top of two red square blocks, I place a pink curved piece to lock them. I attach a right gray joint piece for her eye base, and I place brown eyes the same as the gorilla. Then I add a triangle pole piece under her eyes for her beak. At the eye base joint, I attach a black joint piece. And on top of the section, I put carved and triangle navy pieces for her calm feather. Beneath the head, I attach two poles and one red carved piece on it for her chest. At the back of the chest, I add two beige pieces that will be a base for her feet. Behind the beige pieces, I put the joint piece allowing her to have a long tail feather. For the wing root, I use a red hinge pad with a small white piece. To attach those pads to the body, I use two of the beige feather shaped pieces. For the other wing root, I also use the same red hinge piece, a small white part, and two beige feather shaped pieces. I also use remained beige feather shaped pieces to strengthen the body. Additionally, I use small coarse shaped pieces to portray front red feathered. To the tail feather, after combining a joint piece, 
two red hinge pieces, small joint pieces, and red cone shaped pieces. I connected it to the joint pad from the body. Lastly, for her wings, I attached the combination of small joint pieces, red cone shaped pieces, and blade shaped pieces to both sides of the wing root. Finally, I built a tropical parrot successfully. With the gorilla, it looks perfect and cute. And it makes both the gorilla and the tropical parrot the best partners. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. That's all for today. How do you like this episode? If you like it, please give me your thumbs up. Also, any comment, request, or idea if you have, please share it with me in the comment field below. Finally, please click the subscribe button so that you won't miss my future episodes. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.